Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our English. We want to improve our vocabulary. Today is our lesson number 62, day number 62. I have only about two or three words, and all of these words are very straightforward, very simple for most of the native speakers, but I wanted to cover them because uh, sometimes some people. Uh, have trouble with them, especially the pronunciation and so forth. But they are very simple words. The very first word, very first word we have is ten to two tentative. What does it mean? Tentative. Some test. tentative is something. That is not for sure. You must have heard of tentative schedule. Well, a tentative schedule is a schedule that is not yet set in stone. Something that is not for sure. Something that is uh, that is uh, uh, liable to change. I was about to say bound to change. Obviously, it's not something that is bound to change because it wouldn't make sense there. Uh, but a schedule that is liable to change, so a schedule that may have some changes in the future, a schedule is around, for, a schedule is announced for something right now, but uh, we are not sure. We may have some change, changes in that schedule. Such a schedule is said to be a tentative schedule. Something that is not yet, something that is not yet a done deal. Something that is not yet a done deal. Something that is not certain. Something that is not certain. Not for sure. Something of experimental nature. We're experimenting with it. We're not sure about it. We never tried it before. We're going to give it a shot. It's just a provisional, uh, it's just a tentative. Uh, arrangement. Do you understand? Which means we're going to try it out and see how it works. A tentative arrangement, a tentative uh, layout, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Something that is not confirmed. I know, my, I know I'm repeating myself, it's the same thing. Something that is not for certain, not confirmed, not for sure. They're all the same thing. And here, last one, something that is iffy, which of course is the colloquial way of saying it. And if you do not know what colloquial means, if you do not know what colloquial means, just type in Keshwani Prep dash vocab dash day five, and you will see the word colloquial which means colloquial means informal speech, uh, uh, informal speech, uh, speech, uh, 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 use of the language that you are not likely to see in a formal speech or in a formal writing, iffy. People say, well, it's iffy. We're not sure about it. Uh, it's, it's tentative right now. It's uh, not certain. So we're trying it out. It's iffy. And finally, something that is Provisional nature. Provisional. No. Something that is provisional. That means uh, something that is uh, tentative. Something that is uh, that is not certain. The word is provisional. So we learn this word, and of course, along with this word, they are synonyms. They are synonyms. Provisional. Well, it's provisional. Uh, this arrangement that you have, this uh, this person is in charge of marketing, and this person is this and this. Um, is this is this a done deal? Is this is this how you want it? Well, it's provisional. Uh, in other words, uh, uh, maybe somebody else is gone, and this person is temporarily replacing somebody, or we just trying it out to see how it works for a while. It's a provisional arrangement. It's a tentative arrangement. We are not sure about it. It's not a certain arrangement. It is not confirmed yet. It's kind of iffy situation. 
Let's learn the next word. The next word that I want to learn has absolutely nothing to do with these two words. It's a completely unrelated word. And the word is, where should I put it? Should I put it on the same? No, I, I shouldn't put it on the, on the bottom there. For two reasons. First of all, one is that it's too low on the blackboard to, 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 for me to write and for you to read. And secondly, as I said, it's a completely unrelated word. So let's, let's erase everything. So one, one more time, the word is tentative. The reason I wanted to cover it is, is tentative. It's not tentative. It's not T, it's T, tentative. And it just means provisional schedule or something that is of not certain. People speak of tentative schedule, tentative arrangement and so forth. Or even, or even sometimes in colleges, teachers describe their syllabus as being tentative. If the syllabus is tentative, what they're saying is that uh, the topics that you see there, we, uh, it's experimental, we're not sure about it. I plan to cover it, but we'll see how it goes. Or they might say the exam, the dates of the exams are tentative. These are the exam dates, I'm going to give you three exams and such and such and such date, but these exams are tentative, which means they're provisional, they're not certain, they're, they're liable to change. The next word that we want to learn today is ad, ad, a, fist. What is an edifice? An edifice is a grand old building. Uh, grand, it doesn't necessarily have to be an uh, old building, a grand building or structure. It has to be a very imposing building, a building that is imposing in appearance or size. Now when we say something that is uh, imposing in appearance and size, it's a tricky word, an edifice. It has to be something of, of, a, of, a, of, a, of a grand scale, something that is imposing, something. But you would not, I would not describe, uh, I suppose you could uh, describe a high, high rise as an edifice, but usually it has a nuance of some architectural value or some, something, something special. Example of an edifice might be the Calcium uh, in, uh, in Rome, uh, that's an edifice, uh, or the Supreme Court building, or even the, even the local building in your town, the municipal hall, maybe may be, may be described as an edifice. It's a grand old building. It has certain uh, stature to it. It has certain, uh, certain symbolic value to it, an edifice. That was it. That's, that's all I had for today. I wanted to keep it a very short list. I will see you tomorrow on day number uh, 63. A uh, few more words. Gradually, little by little, we improve our vocabulary. I'll see you tomorrow. If you wish to get a hold of me for personal private tutoring, either for SAT, GRE, GMAT, or TOEFL, you can go to any of these website addresses and send me an email. Or you can go to kashwaniprep.com and send me an email from there. All right?